Scooby-Doo spin-off Velma is the latest victim of TV producers' tunnel vision focus on social activism at the expense of telling a fun, engaging story. Never mind that the white characters have been turned into ethnic characters. Velma's now Indian, Daphne's now Asian, Shaggy's now black. It's 2023, we expect white culture to be erased in the name of progress, and in a way that would probably lead to prosecutions if it happened in reverse. Can you imagine the outrage if the Fresh Prince was remade as a white family? I'm just glad Scooby-Doo himself isn't in this show as they'd probably make him a squirrel. But Velma is openly racist against white people. I mean, we see the same sort of thing across the media. On the rare occasion you can find a white man in an advert, they'll be representing something negative like gambling addiction or violence against women. Velma's the same, the one white member of the group. Fred seems to always be the butt of the joke. In one clip, Velma publicly humiliates him based on his class and race. We're then shown Fred hilariously failing to cut food using a knife and fork because who ever heard of an upper class white person being able to use cutlery? The basic premise of this humour doesn't make any sense apart from an adherence to the white man bad mantra of wokeism. At one point Velma slips Fred a copy of the book The Feminine Mystique and inspires his great awakening and new obsession with the gender pay gap. Oh, classic cartoon laughs here. The rest of the show isn't any better. Velma's a lesbian, of course, because it's 2023, she's not allowed to be straight, but she's 15, and one promo for the show says that her jumper is big enough for two, suggesting she's already hooking up, but the normalisation of underage queer sex is pretty standard for left-wing media. Shaggy, or Norville as he's now called for some unknown reason, is a beta male simp, doing the hectoring Velma's homework, and is openly a stoner. The fun in the original Scooby-Doo was the subtext that Shaggy was off his tits on drugs. Now that it's openly stated, it stops being funny and becomes yet another banal political point being scored on the normalisation of drug use. Of course, it's been lauded in The Guardian for all of these things. It seems to be a vanity project for writer and star Mindy Kaling that's been forced, like a dim-witted child pushing a square peg into a round hole, into the Scooby-Doo universe. I don't know why they couldn't just let Mindy have her own thing instead of ruining Scooby-Doo. Although at least it's not as bad as what they did to Star Wars. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please share it with some nerd who still watches cartoons. And if you want to support me making these videos, consider becoming a patron from as little as £3 a month. You get early access to stuff, you get exclusive patron-only content. There's exclusive episodes of Clown World, the podcast where we'll look at all the crazy stuff that's that's happening in the world, uh, and there's there's live streams, all kinds of stuff, and you can also uh, give me money that helps me stockpile cans of beans for when the apocalypse comes. Personally, I can't wait for that apocalypse. Uh, but yeah, thanks for listening. I'll be Luke Hirsch. Goodbye. Bye bye.